three guys here defending each one. I'm actually going to split my marines up here. Oh, there's a Baneling. Alright, he didn't do that much damage, so we're good to go. As you can tell, that was a large attack, and I lost hardly any units at all. Bad news? We need immediate support! Hostiles all around us! Is anyone out there? Gonna double, uh, double supply depot here. This better be good. Now, these bunkers are really important. It's important to build this sort of wall off here, because uh, you do not want the Banelings hitting your Marines. If they hit your Marines, they'll kill five Marines with each uh, Baneling if they get a good hit. It's very, very powerful. Uh, and they don't actually do that much damage versus the buildings, especially if you have uh, SCVs repairing them. But they can snipe your SCVs, so you gotta be careful. Pull these guys back so they don't get sniped by the Hydralisks. Hydralisks do a lot of damage. How many SCVs do I got? Uh, not enough. But uh, I'm not doing too bad on minerals here. Uh, now, later on, uh, you're going to have enemies dropping in from uh, sort of drop pods. Uh, and they'll leave creep tumors in this area right here. Um, just uh, make sure that you go kind of clear out those creep tumors because they'll block you from rebuilding. There's one right there, a drop pod. Um, and as you can see, it leaves a little creep spot. You gotta make sure your marines don't uh, end up pulling themselves too far out front. What do I have going on here? Ah, we have some zerglings and a creep tumor right here. Let's go take it out. The medic's gonna come help me out here. Alright. Um, you're gonna have drop pods uh, landing actually in the upper area of your base and they can kill a lot of units so it's a, a good idea to keep a couple medics up here and uh, some marines later on Go ahead. SCV ready. here comes some banelings uh, you can use the bunkers to uh, attack focus the banelings before they get to you And uh, now I'm finally getting my uh, bunkers supported with a significant amount of marines, which is going to be really helpful. Uh, the bunkers, uh, what it allows you to do is it allows um, the large groups of Zerglings to die quicker, uh, which allows your bunkers to shift their damage to the uh, higher DPS Hydralisks and Roaches uh, sooner. Uh, you don't necessarily need your... Marines to run out and kill the Roaches and Hydralisks uh, because they can get sniped fairly easily. Um, and the bunkers, generally the Roaches and Hydralisks can't do enough damage to the bunkers if you have two or three SCVs repairing them. And uh, I am doing quite well on resources here. I'm going to build six Marines to go over here in my base. Hold out just a little longer. We have five minutes remaining on the mission. This mission has an excellent sense of impending doom. As you can tell, the creep has gotten much closer to my base. It's actually sitting right at the edge of the bridge. Uh, this actually provides a really good tactical advantage for the Zerg. It allows their bane to approach quicker. But since there's no creep on the bridge, it's not as big of a deal uh, as it could be. Uh, you definitely would not want the creep running right up to the edge of your bunker. Go, go, go! And uh, I can tell my SCVs are uh, fairly well protected at this point. Big job, huh? I'm going to build a couple more supply we depots here. Our and uh, these guys up here are finally going to die because I chose not to save them. Oh! And those Banelings did a lot of damage. I'm actually going to grab a couple extra SCVs for this base. Oh no, I'm going to lose this bunker! Such is the power of uh, having supporting marines and uh, lots of SCVs repairing. Uh, now things are going to get very dicey orders? here in these last couple minutes. Um, if your first bunkers down here fall, uh, you can retreat back up to these upper ground ones 
You're going to have Zerglings approaching in here, but uh, I'm actually fairly well defended at this point. So uh, I'm not too concerned. And uh, sniping the Bailings for me. I didn't even have to micro that. That was excellent. I'm going to keep killing this uh, creep tumor because it keeps appearing. And uh, here are the Zerglings finally attacking. There we go. Got a couple guys in the smoker helping out. And uh, there we go. I had some enemies drop right in my ICD line, but uh, I had the guys coming out. So Now, if, if you can keep these bunkers up, you will have no problem uh, defending this last part of the mission. Um, if you can keep the bunkers up until uh, the last minute, it will take them about a minute to finish clearing out your base and you'll be okay. And it's not important that you keep these up, it's important that you just don't lose all of your buildings. But uh, as you can tell, I'm actually doing still fairly well. I'm gonna focus down these mutilists. Commander, they are very good at on. sniping down my, on the uh, way. marines. Take I mean, not my man. marines, my SCVs. No rush. Although it's getting close here, I'm about to lose a bunker. I'm still doing okay though. Thirty seconds remaining. I'm gonna move these guys into these bunkers. Uh, these actually aren't doing too bad at this point. Uh, another thing that's really useful is having these medics here, because if a bunker does fall, uh, your marines have a much higher survivability rate. And uh, I'm pretty much guaranteed to win at this point. Even though I lost these bunkers, uh, as long as you keep them up to the last minute or so, you're probably fine. And there we go! Hyperion rolling in here, taking everything out. Cavalry's arrived. Anyone still alive down there? Good to see you, Matt. Welcome to the party. Glad we made it in time, sir. Now let's get you boys out of there. Good deal. All right, so a couple important uh, important points we made along the way there is. Uh, one, you definitely want to support your bunkers with uh, multiple SCVs to repair and groups of marines and medics. Uh, the medics help heal the marines and the SCVs as they die. If your SCVs get sniped, the bunkers go down very quickly. Um, and also, the marines just provide a lot of extra DPS. Uh, and the bunkers provo provide some defense uh, to protect the marines. Uh, another important point is you don't need to save... Uh, the groups of people uh, to win. It doesn't actually help you any way in the long term. It helps you get this achievement, uh, uh, this first achievement here. Um, but that's about it. Although you might want to save the first one for that extra gas pallet. Uh, so you don't have to get uh, early gas right away. Um, so there you go, guys. I uh, hope that was really helpful. Um, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.